Hi kids, it's story time. I wonder which feather friend we can call in to join us. Oh, that's a great idea. Let's call in our feathered friend, Lucy, <laughs> who is very kind. Beep! Hi, Lucy. We're so happy that you came to play with us today. It's story time, and this story is called Teeny was a tiny bird who had enormous thoughts. Here we go. Teeny was a tiny bird who had enormous thoughts. He never ever doubted that he could do a lot. He didn't think like all the other birds who perched so still to sing, Teeny liked to move about while gathering everything. Mm, are you like that? I'm going to make a house, he said. From this and that and those. I'll make it high, I'll make it wide. We'll see how far it grows. But no one would believe him, for no one ever knew that Teeny never doubted. He knew what he could do. He stretched his wings and clicked his claws, worked and sang a song, while others in the forest just watched him all day long. Teeny didn't want a house like all the other birds. <laughs> In fact, what he was thinking was really quite absurd. He didn't want a prickly nest with woven twigs and leaves. Instead, he chose a heart-shaped house to build within the tree. Hmm. I'm going to make a house, he said. I really am quite smart. I'll make it all oh, so perfectly into a perfect heart. He gathered and he gathered the most unlikely things. A basket, an umbrella, and a shiny purple ring. He gathered brilliant flowers with a greenish garden pot. Teeny just kept going and he gathered quite a lot. <laughs> this is a silly story. I'm going to make a house, he said. It's going to be so great. I'll gather all the day long and then I'll celebrate. He gathered from a junkyard and even from a store. No one tried to stop him as he gathered, gathered more. He gathered from a barnyard and stopped in at the zoo. He gathered from a schoolyard and from the teacher too. I'm going to build a house, he said. I'll gather while I sing. I'll travel all around the world, collecting many things. Teeny grabbed his suitcase and he flew to Timbuktu. And then he went to Sweden and the North Pole too. He visited the desert and then went on to France. And guess what? Many saw him gathering and singing while he danced. <laughs> guess what he said? I'm going to make a house, he said. I'll take these home to see how to shape them as a heart within the perfect tree. He gathered all the 
trinkets and piled them so high that no one could believe it when it reached up toward the sky. He nailed the things together and fit them here and there until the house had a heart shape with lots of room to share. Now I've built a house, he said, and it was so much fun. Step right in and don't be shy. It's home for everyone. Now everyone believed him and they really knew. They never ever doubted for they saw what he could do. They stretched their wings and clicked their claws, sang and chirped the song. And while within the forest, they cheered him all day long. Hmm. Then Teeny picked the tallest tree with branches soft and new. Soaring to the very top, he knew what he had to do. He perched upon the highest branch, gazed beyond the stars. He knew to be his very best, he'd need to travel far. I'm going to get one star, he said. One star is all I need. I'll place it deep within the heart for all the world to see. Wow, hey kids, do you think it was nice that Teeny made room for everyone in his heart-shaped house? Yeah, me too. Hey, I have an idea. You can do that too. Always be kind like Lucy and Teeny. Do something today to be kind to someone. I'm sending you extra sparkles your way, all the way to your heart. <laughs>